With this video, we will be doing Cardi B sent more shots at Nicki Minaj. And if you want to help this channel and the content that we're making, please help support our merchandise. The link is in the description. If you didn't hit the like button, make sure you hit the like button. Try and get the channel to grow. And the only way we're going to do this if you like, share, and comment on the content. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's go. Chi Chi, get the yayo. Yeah, get the yayo. Yeah, This is Ashley back up, with Ashley? another video. Ash? Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. All right. Make sure you turn on post notification. So, Botch and Bitter Botched has and bitter. dropped her new single, mm -hmm. Miami. And um, she is clearly throwing some shots in the record mm. because she is jealous. No shade. Um, she starts off the song. Obviously, it's funny that she said that um, she's jealous, obviously, because in that song we reacted to it. Um, she said, my cheeks is peanut butter. So these girls is jelly. Um, she's saying that she's jealous. It's crazy. I want to see what she's talking about with this. There. How she break it down. We talked about this verse before me versus you. And you know who they picking cheap and expensive. You know the difference. OK, doing a play on Nicki Minaj's big difference song. OK. Mm. And then she said, you know that it's hidden, you know what it's given. She said, I can survive in the coldest conditions. Holes better lower their tone when they spit in. B words is why. I thought that was a bar when she said it. And the way she said it, like, yo, chicks better lower their tone. That was like a bar. I'm wondering, I remember even stopping it on that part. Um, when she said, oh, we keep all the way real. Um, I think that song that she just came out, Cardi mm -hmm. came out with, is better than the song that came out before that. I don't remember the name of it, but it was like the Missy Elliott, like, She's a Freak Beat. Um, yeah, I think yeah. this song I is, agree. I is think is this better. one came way harder than yeah, the first one. me too. Soap in the dishes. That's a shot Nicki Minaj. I apply pressure like bow constrictors. Bow. One B, bow. two B, O B, new B. Mm. Now, everybody wants to know who, who's that about. Mm. So I think it's the one B is Akbar V, the two B words is Carisha and JT, the O B word um Nicki Minaj, and the new B word is Ice Spice. Okay, um that's who I think she's talking about when she says, you know, one B, two B, O B, new B. Then she also says none of y'all be. I wish she would have broke that down a little bit more on how she really, because I'm still lost in the sauce on how she came up with it. She just gave names and one B two. Like, how did you figure this is one B? Like, did you come to that conclusion? The, what was the, the hypothesis? Yeah, what was your breakdown? Are you saying these are the only hot ones that she could be possibly talking to? Or, like, it's, what's your sense of reasoning? Right. He was not gonna do ish, which is mm. ironic because Criminal B. She's there they go, early. Yes, they got, we gotta pay the bills. She <laughs> has never really got into a physical fight. She usually hires people to do the fighting mm. for her. Okay, so she's not gonna do anything either. You threw a shoe at Nicki Minaj <laughs> at the Harper Bazaar <laughs> event back oh, in 2019 snap. or 2018. And then you threw a mic at your fan last year. You do something at a DJ last year. You never throw hands, though. So that was an interesting line. Then she said, I in Miami, I pull up in a cruise ship. You in Miami for rooms to a room and shit. Um, a lot of people. That was a bar. If you're not a hater, that's a bar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm there for the cruise ship. You four oh, chicks in one room is. Yeah, it's, it's levels to this. <laughs> Facts. People were saying that's about Bia, okay, because in her fall back um, song, mm. she had like four girls in a hotel room in her music oh, video. Oh, snaps. Okay? And as we know, the beat for Miami sounds similar to fall back. So, wow. you know, people were saying that how she copied, you know, Bia 
Um, so that's why people are saying this is a shot at Bia. Then she said... That's why I like watching stuff like this. You get little breakdowns like that. I would never uh, put that together. I just thought it was a hot bar. She, I didn't really know she was actually taking a shot at somebody this, um, with that bar. This is crazy because this was just like rapid fire. And she was busting off very much. <laughs> and did a lot of winning, a lot of scoring. Mm. Cardi Bryant, Cardi Jordan. <sighs> These B words sore losers. Okay. A lot of people are saying that's another shot at Nicki Minaj. Okay. And she's talking about her five number ones that she has. And, um, you know, Section 8 Gang, they're saying that this song can go number one and um, top 10 on the Hot 100. That's what they're saying. And then she said, they can't do it is not important. She said, I'm getting better and better. I do not see no competitors, which is false. Mm. I think Criminal B definitely see... Who her competition is? I think she believes her competition is Nikki. Um, even though Nikki um has been in the game, you know, fifteen years, I think she believes Megan Thee Stallion is her competition. You can just tell. That's why she was scared to drop. And she could definitely tell that she do see competition. The reason why I know that she's seeing um competition, um, because she was talking about how she was scared to kind of drop, or when she came out, she was saying. Um, I don't care about numbers no more. I'm just dropping stuff. So I mean, like when people say that, I mean, you do care about numbers. You feel what I'm saying? You just trying to put a scapegoat if it doesn't do well. I already told you I don't care about numbers. Yes, so why y'all bring that up? Me. So that means you do care because your competitors are doing numbers. Yeah, it's obvious. It just makes it more obvious. It's <laughs> yeah. like, you keep blowing it out. Yeah, facts. Real talk. Drop all these years because at the end of the day, um, if the record don't do well, she don't want to put music out. That exactly. was her reasoning for not putting out music all Facts. these years. Facts. Now, she said, you know the gang hit that coochie, said mm. it was regular degular. Mm. Is that a sweetie shade? You know the gang hit that coochie because, you know, people were saying that she smashed off the cheek and Quavo. I always heard it was the friend, Sabrina Brazil, sweetie's friend that hit off the cheek and Criminal B pressed her about it and sweetie was acting funny. But uh, if it's sweetie, then this line makes sense. Can't see me fighting. Can't see me in fashion. Can't see me with money. These B words is bugging. Well, Botch and Bitter, you have never gone to a physical fight. So that's very interesting. Um, you're half naked. So the fashion, I think anybody could wear what you wear because you barely wear any clothes. And you couldn't pay your rent a few months ago. Did that lawsuit get handled or settle behind the scenes of the fact that you couldn't pay your rent and you got sued for it? So can't see me with money. I don't know if you should have wrote that bar. Okay, maybe Partisan Fontaine should have took that out. Damn. She said these B-words is... She didn't say you should have took that out. Your ghostwriter should uh, not put that in there. <laughs> wow. It's crazy. Bugging. Either these B-words is blind or I'm invisible. B-words can't see me in nothing. Mm. Okay? This also could be a shot at Bia. Okay? Because she's talking about money. She can't be talking about Nicki Minaj. I don't know who okay? Bia is. So, I think that these are new shots at Bia. Then she said, B-words be talking. Can you me know who's Bia is in the comment section? I don't know what she's talking about. Fucking mouth be bigger than a pocket. Okay. Uh. So, yeah, I think these are new shots at JT or Bia. Okay. Uh. Those are the only two people she can be talking about or Akbar V. Okay. Um, but she recently got. Damn. Type game is that? <laughs> right. <laughs> There's a lot of smoke going on in these streets. Got into it with JT and Bia. And so I think these are newer shots, basically saying that she got more money um, than Bia um, and JT. Because Nicki Minaj is the richest female rapper. You can't talk money with her. Can't. Okay? Can't. Um, her net worth is over $150 million. You got. When I hear bars like that, I know 100% sure she's not talking about Nicki. But them other chicks... She could be talking to all y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Facts. It's only like three really getting a bag. We know that's Nikki, Meg, and Cardi. The rest of like them threes is getting more than better getting a bigger portion of the pot. Facts. Try to play catch up. No shade. Okay. So let me know how y'all feel about this new single. 
So, in my opinion, the music video was given $5,000, you know, total. Mm. Um, definitely giving a little bit cheap, no shade. Mm. Um, the second verse for Criminal B, um, I thought it was a little bit choppy. Mm. You know, I thought the second verse was a little bit sloppy for Criminal B. People were saying that she was paying homage to the original face changer mm. in the industry, mm. Lil' Kim. Um, so a lot of fans know. So I wonder when she's going to collaborate with Lil' Kim because Lil' Kim been begging for a collaboration. She even paying Lil' Kim dust. Mm. But overall, I'll be honest with mm. you, I wasn't really a huge fan of the song. I'll be honest with you, I don't really feel like this was really a strong single to come back with. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she's just putting anything out to see what sticks. Okay, that's what it's coming off to me. As for the never lose... Um, the way I described it yesterday when we reacted to it, to me, it seemed like it's a rollout. And what I mean by that, I mm -hmm. called it out. She's making sure every song is stronger than the last song. So she's not hitting you with the hard stuff right now. Mm -hmm. She's slowly... She's like you could tell cross. that you could tell that's a game plan. Like she got some shit, stuff in the clip, but she just throwing stuff out. Kind of like she said to see what what's her name. But I know she's not giving us her best. She's giving us, you know what I mean? Yeah, but but that joint was definitely uh, better than uh, mids. Yeah, it was definitely uh, better than mids. I think um, it was a decent song for for the climate of what's coming out right now. That's what I compare music to. Like what's yeah. coming out for right now. It was a decent song. Yeah, real talk. Lose me remix. Which, um, you know, Flo Millie wrongfully dropped, okay? Um, this song is completely trash. I don't even <laughs> like SZA's verse. I thought SZA was going to sound fire on it. And her first verse was a little bit choppy. It didn't flow well. And then why do you got Criminal B singing on there with her Ooh, nasty baby. ass throat? <laughs> <laughs> she sounded a fucking mess. Yo, okay, she said, "Why they got her singing on there?" Though I just when she said that to me, it made me think of somebody smoking cigarettes and how they uh, throw sound. But I didn't hear the song. But we actually got the song on the schedule uh, to rap to tomorrow. The song that she's talking about, um, is SZA, is Cardi B, and is uh, Flo Millie. Okay. Um, they got a song. It's no video, just a song. But I'm gonna check it out tomorrow. I want to see what it sound like. Um, yeah, I wish man, we'd too. already heard it so I could have really know what she's talking about. But yeah. we definitely gonna check it out. Even with the she had Cardi B singing on that John. Yeah, I'm like, Flo, <laughs> you could have got Dolja Cat. You could have got Mariah the Scientist. You could have got, you know, Gunna, even though he's blackballed. Why the hell did you call up Criminal B for this? Mm. She doesn't flow. It sounds messed up and all choppy and stuff like that. So I got to give Flo Donkey of the Day today, too. Okay, I got to give her Donkey of the Day again. And Without me hearing the song... Um, without me hearing this song, um, I can understand why she put Cardi B on the song. Cardi B got a big name and she get, get views out here. Um, the only reason yeah. that song is on my list to do tomorrow is because Cardi, Cardi B is, is on, on the, the song. song. It was just Flo Millie. It would not be on my list to check out tomorrow. Right. So I understand why she did it. Whether the voice sound, uh, uh she know people are gonna do like I'm doing. At least gonna check the song gonna out. Listen to it. Exactly. Give it a chance. No, I'm not. Listening to her whole album. No, she <laughs> lost that privilege. Mm. I'm going to just wait till it flops. Mm. Okay, because we don't even know if this going to go number one. Mm. Okay, we don't know if this album going to go number one. I don't think so. So I'm mm. just going to watch the album flop like it deserves to because at the end of the day, she had no business putting Botch and Bitter on the record. No mm. shade. It was completely trash. Mm. Now, moving on from that. No shade. Criminal B did a recent interview and she said, I took a little break and I came back on social media. I dropped a little freestyle and everything, you know, just to wet my feet. I think bouncing her in my eyes. At Stray yeah. University, <laughs> you a brand new laptop when you enroll in a bachelor's program. Ooh. I'm just going to have to uh, let Blood her read it. All about what's what's in song. the name? Blood in yeah. prison. <laughs> a week later, I'm dropping the single and the next announcement is not going to be a single. It's going to be an album, okay? Mm. So she said that her next announcement, she's dropping the album. She said, I'm back outside. I'm, I'm back tired outside. of Ish holding me back. Mm. It's been six years since I dropped an album, so I'm going to drop an album this year. Mm. And then it also looks like Criminal B is going to be touring soon, okay? Um, because on her website, it looks like she has a tour section that allegedly 
recently got added. Okay? Mm. So it looks like... Me- and that's crazy to hear that she uh, might be going on tour. Because I know a lot of people want to see her uh, go on tour just because it says that Nicki Minaj um, is having from um, her Pink Friday 2 tour. You know, people want to compare. Um, can you do what Nicki's doing out here in these streets when you're outside? She's saying she's back outside. So um, it's a good time to be out. And people are really going to really be comparing when her album drop and yeah. what, her, what she do on tour. So we all we always rest to see um, what happened. Tours is definitely telling a lot of the stories now. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Never before. Can you get people to come show up and support you at your concert? Yeah. Megan um, and Criminal B going to be touring at the same time. They should have just went on tour together. Facts. Um, they probably would have been better touring together than apart, in my opinion. And it looks like Criminal B's song debut at number one. Big Difference is currently at number three. Dang, that's still um, on the and this is the right. number one on iTunes that Titanic Records gave to her because she didn't go number one with the other song, um, like Trash. So this is her lick back at Nicki Minaj, okay? Mm. Because Nicki went number one before her last time. They were like, oh, we got to get Criminal B this number one on iTunes, okay? And it's already discounted. I was like, goodness gracious. How is this already discounted already? But I don't believe it's organic. I definitely think that this is fraudulent. Okay, no shade. Because fans are noticing. Um, I don't think it's fraudulent. Um, and the reason why you could tell it's fraudulent, us as reactors, we know if it's fraudulent or not. We know what is bought and was really moving out here in the streets. And I've seen the people uh, who Cardi B videos did get released and they're moving fast on moving the reactors on channel. Yeah. So, so you know it's not a push um, because we know all the music that came out yesterday all the music that came out yesterday we reacted to all of it and all the stuff that we reacted to that's probably was one of the better songs if not the best song that we did yesterday yeah, definitely one of the best um songs. so i can understand it that her points are exactly the same as teddy swims okay um for the lose control single still that moving. went number one they have exactly the same points when they both went number one so a lot of fans are saying that this is fraudulent. And that's crazy that Teddy Swim's Loose Control is just now getting that recognition. We did that reaction like eight months ago. Yeah, like eight Loose months control. ago. Real talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was looking at the same damn thing like, man. But you remember, it was like a month ago I was telling you like, yo, we starting to get a lot of comments on this Teddy Swim's. I was like saying like yeah, people are now just people finding was... out about it and it's, it's dope to see him up there. He's a dope artist. I like yeah, Teddy Swim's. This is crazy. Facts. And I believe it is chill. Moving on to Doja. So Doja is nominated for four awards for the 2024 Global Awards. Okay. I'm like, what's the Global yeah, Awards? Yeah, I don't know what that is. But she got four <laughs> nominations. She said, what's the Global Awards? I'm sitting here thinking the same thing. Like, what is the Global Awards? Worldwide. You know what I mean? It's global. Best song, The Time is Dead. <laughs> Best female, Doja. Best hip hop and R&B, um, Doja. Um, best fans, the Kitty Litters. Um, no shade, the Kitty Litters are not the best fans, though. And um, I thought, you know, Doja wasn't doing R&B anymore. She's just strictly being a hip-hop category. But she's not because she's not a hip-hop artist. Okay? Um, but congratulations to... I mean, we heard the album. It was a hip-hop album. <laughs> Yeah, mixed with R and B, it was a nice. It was a blend. It was a nice blend, but it was definitely more of a rap album than an R and B album. Uh, yeah, I would agree to that. Doja Cat for continuing to get these nominations, even though some of them are not well deserved. Um, but Doja's still winning. Okay, um, you know her streams are up. Um, you know she's trying to do the sympathy train by deactivating her Instagram. So you know the sympathy train is. Producers, if you struggle finding sounds and samples track. that work for you, then you have to check out this plugin. It's helping Doja Cat exceed. So let me know how y'all feel about that. Now, moving on to. I feel like Doja, I keep everything unbiased. I'm not 
biased. <laughs> like, you know right, what I'm saying? At all. Doja Cat had a strong album. You feel what I'm saying? That was a strong album, and I understand why she got nominated for it. I don't think it was undeserving. I think it was well-deserving from the album that um, she put out. We reacted to the whole thing, so Man. we know every song that was on there, and it was a decent album. I mean, this is two guys. That's a female album. Like, Man. It's a decent album. It's a decent album. Man. Facts. More than decent. Real Queen B SZA joins Queen B as the only solo black woman to headline Glastonbury Festival. Oh, shout out to her. Okay. Yeah. So, SZA, to me, is coming for Queen B's spot. No. Okay? Um, I... No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I don't think she'll ever be as talented as Queen B. She definitely won't be the best performer. She's but I do trouble. feel like <laughs> she has the chance of being the queen of R&B. So, Do yeah, the Garbage, Baby Mama, Preggers... Um, mm. released in your hands. At first, I wasn't really going to do a review because, you know, Holly kind of gives me the ick. She dropped but, a new song, too. um, you know, I decided to do a review. Yeah. And the song, vocally, she sounds amazing. But this sounds like a soundtrack music song, not necessarily like a hmm. single. That's what it gives to me, like a soundtrack single. Like, um, I didn't hear the song yet, but we got that on the schedule um, today. Um, to actually listen to her and react to her. Um, so I'm glad we get her opinion about this song before we go into it. She sound, when I'm hearing, she sounding like it's a decent song. Yeah, sound like it's for a movie or something. Yeah. It should be for like a movie. Um, and, you know, the song doesn't sound bad. Okay. Will it be my playlist? No. No. Because it's just, it's kind of like, I don't know, it has like a churchy feel to it. And I like gospel. But I don't I like know gospel, if this is but... playlist worthy type of song. Like I don't, I can't imagine just randomly listening to the song. If that makes sense, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, it's a good song, but I don't know if it has replay value. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't think it has replay value yeah, that's important. constantly. And it's like sometimes you gotta hear um, a song more than once to really know how you feel about it. Um, sometimes you might hear a song one time and not like it, then you hear it two or three times, and then. The instruments start catching on to you. You might catch on to the vibe a little more. And you're like, yo, this is not a bad song. Yeah, it'll grow on you. Yeah, definitely. You, sometimes you have to replay it to see if it does have replay. Right? Yeah, some stuff you just hear it one time. You're like, uh, I know that. It would never get played yeah, again. Yeah, Like, it's not a song that you would put in your playlist. This is like, if you was going to church, you would listen to the song. <laughs> God um, damn. You know, <laughs> if you were watching If you was going to church, you would listen to this. on... <laughs> You know, during the credit, that's when you would listen to the song, mm. you know? Um, and I feel like with Holly and Chloe, to me, they thrive better when they do music together, okay? Mm. Um, but the song don't sound bad. It's not okay. a bad song. It's just, to me, I don't think I would ever listen to this song ever again. But it's a beautiful song. And um, with Haley, she has a different type of audience, so I think her music always going to sound different than what we're used to because she has a different audience. She's, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? She's not really going to... She's gonna, targeting a different... Yeah, she's not targeting the streets and the clubs. She's targeting a certain type of audience. So, again, she had, you know, her son in the music video or the son's hand in the music video. Oh, she had the baby. I don't know. She's dedicating the song to him. Okay. okay. Um, but, um, it's a good song. I just don't know if it is playlist worthy. So let me know how y'all feel about that. Now, Botch and Bitter also Botched causes some bitter. controversy because she basically talked about, um, couples going 50-50. Okay. And this is what she had to say. If, if you're going to be the type of bitch that like a nigga, you want a nigga to take care of you and everything, but it's like. All right, you have to like pick a balance. Like, it's like you cannot just. What if is a simple. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. What if I. Be a bitch that is like, oh, and my man take care of me. He does it the bill. It's like, what do you do? Right. What are you contributing? Like, it's like, all right, like, you can't be complaining, like, oh, I cook, I clean every day. It's like, okay, but you don't work. You don't <laughs> contribute to the house. So no, I just feel like it's like. So, and like, sometimes people be like, oh. So this is like really controversial, right? <laughs> okay. I feel like it's very controversial. He said, "Go ahead." Well, you like, you can hear me once you say that. Once you say, yeah, go ahead and say that. Yes, go ahead and say that part. Let's get these views real quick. So when like 
be like, oh, I don't go 50 50, but it's like, all right. So if you and your man make the same amount of, of money, right? Mm -hmm. But only your man is the one that paying all the bills. How y'all gonna save up to like buy a house or buy a business? Cause he's never gonna be able to afford to. So it's like certain things is like a, a joint thing to do. You, you know gotta what I'm work saying? together. Like, like, now here's my thing. Uh, before she give her take, uh, I want to get my take. Um, I think like um, people should work together uh, with their finances. If you have finances to help your guy. Why you're not gonna help him? <laughs> like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, especially if you got a right type of guy that you see, like she said, that's trying to build a business, trying to do other things outside of pay bills. Um, why wouldn't you help him? Because if the business pop off, that actually means uh, more money uh, from yeah, the household. Yeah. Um, it's like when I be looking for a relationship, I'm looking for somebody I could build with. I'm not looking for somebody I, uh, to take care of. I'm looking for somebody I could build with. Right. Um, that they're gonna pour as much into me as I'm gonna pour I'm into, into you. Not just I'm supposed to just take care of you. And I don't get nothing on the other side of the stick. You feel what I'm saying? Because I've been in like situations where you'll be in a relationship, and as us as men, we constantly have problems coming up. But when you have a problem come up, you can't even look to this person for any type of help. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? So sometimes that person can feel like a burden instead of someone that should you should be building with. Because if you run into problems, life is tough. You never know when a um, curveball gonna come. And it's nice to have somebody mm -hmm. to turn to. Like, babe, I'm a little bit short. So can you look out you for down, the cookout? Hold you, up. you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, to each their own. Um, do you have a take on it? Man, I damn sure do. <laughs> it's sure as hell. It's nice to have help. Man. Yeah. And it'd be crazy if you don't have help. Right. Like I'm. All sides of the fence, I didn't dealt with it. And I'm telling you, man, it's nothing like having a helpmate. Because yeah. you never know. You might have health issues. Right. It could Anything. Just, life could just be life. Life in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then that's just extra stress. So it's right. good to have somebody who really got your back. That man. got your back. And got you know back. that she got your back. It's a difference. Bonch and Bitter um, has to go 50-50 because off the cheat don't make a lot of money. <laughs> okay? <laughs> that's basically what I got from that clip. She has no choice but to go 50-50. That's why she caping for it. And also no say the criminal B, but you going I think it's more because Nikki comes... I mean, not Nikki. Cardi comes from the struggle. She was out here in the real world, and she know how to get. She probably seen a mom and a dad going in on bills. You feel what I'm saying? She doesn't come... Probably don't come from a lifestyle where her dad was just taking care of mom, and the mom was just sitting in the house. I doubt from the Bronx that was the situation. I'm pretty sure she's seen two people working to get stuff accomplished. Yeah. So, I think that's probably the standpoint she's coming from. And it's cool to see her keeping it real, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it just shows like people starting to realize the they have more influence than they really, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Giving themselves credit for yeah. it. And it's like, yo, hold on. Let me keep it real with y'all because so that's a lot of people who just be like, yeah, if we can't do this, we can't do it. You know, yeah. I'm going to be the old girls at the club, I'm telling you. Yeah. And it'd be like, to me, it's seeming like, I don't know if like female scene was going on, but it's seeming like guys are most uninterested in relationships right now because it's just now like, just take care of me. Like, your job is just to take care of me. Like, you feel what I'm saying? So, a lot of guys is like, um, I'm about to go focus on my business. I'm about to go to school. I'm about yeah. to invest into something else because I want someone I could build with, not someone I just have to take care of because I'm taking care of you. I can't, can't do this other stuff she was talking about. Like, build business, do X, Y, and Z because I'm not going to have the funds because all my funds got to go into you. They all coming out. Yeah. 50-50 and your man still cheat on you. That's embarrassing. You should have kept that to yourself. Because I feel like she caping for the 50-50 because she probably pay 50 or even more for her household because Criminal B make more money than Off the Cheat. I believe that. Okay, I don't think that he really got it like that because Cat Williams had loaned him money, okay, a few years ago. And he confirmed it on Club Shay Shay and also Hazel E confirmed it. Plus, they couldn't pay their rent a few months ago. So I definitely don't think he got it. Um, with that being said, though, um, to me, if you and your spouse make the same amount of money, it only makes sense to go 50-50. Okay? Right. Um, but if one of your spouses makes tremendously more than you, then, you know, you don't have to necessarily have that 50-50 conversation. Everyone knows that. <laughs> like, even yeah. It's like, yo, if I'm getting all of this millions, I don't know. It's nothing. I take care of these bills. But if I'm getting 50000 a year and yeah. you want me yeah. to take care of everything, it's like. 
Yeah, you asking not even a lot. You asking too much. You know, <laughs> you like, know what I'm saying? Real, it's like the strain. That's when the strain comes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's one thing to help out and kick in. It's another thing to ask of everything. It's one thing when a guy is on his way to the bag. You know what I'm saying? It's right. a difference between a guy having a bag and a guy that's on his way to the bag. You know what I'm saying? Right. A guy on his way to the bag gonna need the support from his woman. You know what I'm saying? A guy that already got the bag don't need that support. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they say, behind every strong man is a strong female. You know what I'm that's saying? That's why you always see, like, when 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 you had them situations where you're like, man, this is a pirate couple days and been together. For... And it's always somebody who done been from the from the rocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because they really know. They yeah. really there. Yeah. I mean, guys is really looking for in 2024, like, somebody that don't mind pouring into them and help building them up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's what guys are really looking for because right now, um, because of music, all you just fit females is just like what can you buy me what can you buy me what can you buy me i mean i don't know if they know or not that all females are saying that to the guys like what can you buy me what can you buy me and then we looking like like what can you do for me like what can you do for me because i'm gonna damn sure do for myself <laughs> you feel me like it's crazy okay but cardi b has no choice because at the end of the day off the tee is pissed broke allegedly and then on top of that his yeah. tour not selling his music not selling <laughs> Sorry, and he always cheating on you Okay, mm. so of course he ain't got no money to go 100. No shade. So, of course she's going to cake for it. Then she also meant... Well, let's say, let's say if Allset did have the money, right? Let's say if he had the money to pay all the bills in the house, right? Mm-hmm. Carter, you got all this money. Just because he has it, you're not going to donate a dollar? <laughs> Just because he has it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That... Let's say if they made the same amount, right? Right. And if he paid everything, she got all this money. You're not supposed to... Do nothing for your guy, like I don't get it. I don't be understanding. Man, like how it's the reciprocity, man. <laughs> Real talk. Like I, I want, know, man. It, you know, you want to feel the same way. You don't want to have to be all oh, boo, 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 this, that, and the third. But you know, what I mean, you want to know she care. Yeah, what's wrong that's with that? All it is. That's all it is. You want to know she care. You what's care. You gonna you gonna spend a little something. You gonna show it some type of way. It's crazy, man. The game didn't change. That she's game related change. to Glorilla Glue. She said that Glorilla Glue is her biological half niece. Right. Okay, um, allegedly her grandfather, just like off the cheat, was cheating cheat. and had a few side babies. Okay, mm. and one of the grandfather's sons, um, mm. Glow Stick, is the daughter. So let me know how y'all feel about that. Papa was a rolling stone. Boom, 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 boom. I'm anyway, you. I got some hot, hot tea on Patreon about the royal family. Link will be in the description. And have a great day. It's Trey TV. It's fun. Let's get it. It's Lamar Wilson here representing Ghetto Action News Network underscore all lower cases. No spaces. You can find us on Facebook. And when you do, follow the page, like the page, share something, and come back. All right, I'm going to get right into this. This is a, a miracle show. Yeah. Um, we was checking it out, and she was covering some Cardi B and uh, Nikki and their little interaction. But this seemed like she was uh, getting into a lot of different uh, stuff with uh, Cardi B as well. Um, I found this to be entertaining. Um, it, was, it seemed to be pretty much opinionated, highly opinionated, but... Yeah. It definitely was a conversation starter. Yeah, definitely. And I thought it was entertaining. What you think? I think it was uh, definitely entertaining. I think it was uh, definitely uh, a conversation starter. And it's just nice to see how people think um, so you could compare thoughts. Because really, thoughts come down to me is really upbringing, how you was raised, and what you was go through. Um, and people have different experiences. So I expect people to have different opinions. I don't want to just hear my opinion. I like to hear other people's opinions and line up how I think it's feel. And I think she did a good job putting this together um, because all this news is what came out. Um, yesterday, so everything she's talking about, I pretty much knew mm-hmm. about it, which lets me know she is on her JL because everything, every topic that came out yesterday, uh, she yeah, was on. She it. already clipped it up. <laughs> she was on it. it in there. Um, but I definitely like how she broke down. I definitely uh, respect her opinion. Like I said, at the end of the day, we all got opinions. Mm-hmm. Um, I definitely like how she threw the Cardi B thing at the end because that's just a conversation starter. And I think Cardi B think that needed to be said just because she sees the way the game is going. You feel what I'm saying? And yeah. how it's, um, it's heading, like just like the way that I see it's heading. Um, um, so I'm glad that she started um, the conversation. Definitely might check out one of them interviews from Cardi B. Tap in and see what she's talking about. Um, but this right here was dope. Can't wait to see what else she come out with. But until then, it's your boy Trey TV. And I'm out.